Now, for floors that are like this, I usually make them a good bit longer so I have enough to work with. So let's do this and this. And there we go, we got a pretty good sized floor. Hit Control A to select them all. F8, we're just going to name, name it what we did for the PNG marble, garden, floor. And there we go, we got ourselves a decently sized floor. And now what we're gonna do is tween it. The way you tween floors is different than the way you tween backgrounds. Let's go out to say here, 620. And what we're going to do is go here and see the characters just walking. We're going to want this to be a pretty slow tween. So let's go out to frame 265 and we're going to move it not a lot. So and then when we play it, you see we've got ourselves like a little slow tween like they're walking. But now what you want to do for the background is you want to make that tween even slower than the floor. Not saying the tween's longer and the tween needs to be the same length, but just move it less. And then and then when you play it, you see we've got ourselves like a little let me just move this a bit more to give a better example. See, there we go. We've got kind of like a little 3D motion going on. The background's still moving, as you can see, but the floor is moving a bit faster. It's a cool little, um, it's a, it's not really 3D. It just plays with your eye. It, it's just, it tricks your eye to thinking it is when it's not. And this is called parallaxing, I believe. It's when you make the floor move faster than the background and gives it like this little cool transition and stuff. I use this a lot in all my animations. Mm. Sorry about that. I need to take a sip of some tea. <clears throat> and now what we're going to do is we are going to go here, hit Alt, drag this up over here. I'm just going to put this on 290, and we're going to move this tween. And there we go. We have, like, a fresh start. Now what we're going to show is if the character were running. So what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take this floor right here. Right here, actually. And we're going to copy, control N. I do floors differently. No. It's difficult getting these to work. So take this, highlight it all, file, export, export image. And I have a folder called Transparents just for stuff like this. I was going to name this Marble Garden Floor. And this is a way so I don't have to, like, you know, um,. Redo this every single time. I've got it, you know, in a nifty little file right here. And I can just find it and drag it in. There we go. But now what we're going to do is put it in paint.net. And I use paint.net. This is the only use I have for paint.net besides recoloring my sprites before I edit them. I want to drag this in here. Mm -hmm. Open. And we're going to, first off, we're going to resize this background. Let's see, is this right? Yeah, it cut off a bit there. There we go. I'm just going to copy, control N, paste. There we go. We're good. I'm going to close this out. I can save this as my marble garden background save over it yes and now what we're gonna do is do a blur to this um, 
five to this floor. It's not a good idea to do blurs in flash. The reason for that is is it can cause lag and to me it really you can do more blurs with um, this and you don't get much lag and you don't get any lag for me anyway. So going to go to effects, blurs and motion blur. When I have this on zero, because it's gonna be going straight, and it doesn't have to be centered. It can be. I usually do. We can blur this by whatever. I mean, the floor is going fast, so to me, it's not like it really matters. I was gonna blur this by twenty-eight. Maybe a little less. Well, that looks good right there. So we're just going to click OK. File. Save as. I'm just going to name this the same exact thing. We're just going to add blur to the end. There we go. And now we don't have to do a whole bunch of crap to get this background. We just go... Transparent folder? Refresh it. There we go. There's the blur. We just drag and drop. And it should be resized to 300, so we don't have to resize it either. Make sure its settings are all good. Put it in the Bitcraps folder. And now we just go to F8 and name this Marble Garden Floor Blurred or whatever. There we go. And as you can see, it places this one pretty well. So we can get rid of the other one. And now basically all we have to do is go to, say go to frame, if you're on frame 290, go to frame like 300, press F6, and do this. Just drag it all the way across until you get to the end of the stage and hit create a motion tween, then press F7. And what I do now, instead of having it in movie clips, I can get more accurate if I just, believe it or not, I can get a more accurate tween by just copy this tween over and over again throughout the entire fight and to do this you just highlight this press alt while, while holding alt you drag it and then unclick it and then you just gotta do that again we're gonna go we're gonna go about maybe this far with it 466 so f7 there now we're gonna do the background again backgrounds not gonna be going that fast we're just going to be, we're going to tween it a bit more, but still going to be going slow compared to the floor. Let's see, look, it gives it more of a, that feel to it. So we're going to press this, and we get to see this little thing here go. <laughs> and now, there we go. See? Though, what the heck? Why did it look like it was going the other way? Hold up. Oh, it's just the way it... Oh, it's just the way the humps move, my bad. <laughs> it makes it look like it's going the other way. Eh. Oh, well. You know. Mistakes happen, but... It's not that big of a deal. The background's moving, so I'm guessing I can tell where it's going. Mm-hmm. And now we're gonna get to... Mm. Fun part. Adding a character into this. So we're going to go up here, add a character. So let's just go with a character I've already got animated. Since we know all the stuff with the. with the aligning and everything. Just go to here. There's his walk. Drag him onto the stage. And while I'm doing this, I don't bother having the background there. I mean, he's just walking. I don't need it. And then most of the time, yeah, I have, this is a graphic for some reason. This says I like seeing it. And now we're just going to play it. And there you go. See, that looks, looks pretty good. Let's move him down just a little bit more. I don't bother with doing the humps, really. To me, it's just, it's really, to me, just extra work. 
you know, to do those. And what you can do is like do this, we'll put a keyframe there, and do the ease out feature. And when you do that, if you see, you get yourself like it slows down a little. It slows down into it. And then that's where I'm going to have John go into his uh, this pose here. And we're just going to have him. To me, I add like a bounce to it to make it seem more fluent and lifelike. So let's give him a little bounce. 